Okay, this is a tutorial in Adobe After Effects CC 2015 on how to make the following effect. So this is the final video, it was rendered and we can see that this line is moving according to the person's head so the end of the second line is tracking the head of the person okay and the text and the first line is static okay so let's see how to do this in Adobe After Effects close this window now let's bring in the source video let's say this one drop it here onto the left side of the program Adobe After Effects is importing it okay maximize it now drag this video onto the timeline like so let's zoom out from here let's set it to fit okay and first let's create the lines right click here in empty area new and solid okay let's call it the name here let's type in static line make it composition size and the color let's set it to black okay and okay now this created a black thing here and we should add on this effects window if effects is not visible then go to window and effects we should search for beam so type in here beam beam okay and drag this beam thing onto this black area okay now that one created a line the length of the line can be controlled from here let's set it to 100 like so click on it and drag it to the right now it has a starting point and an ending point from those points you can move the line let's move it up there somewhere let's position it there it's not horizontal intentionally so that we can modify it from here starting point and ending point this is the starting point that's the ending point and it has an X and a Y coordinate X moves it this way horizontally and Y moves it vertically up and down the same thing for the other point also horizontal movement and vertical movement okay so let's copy the Y of both of the starting and ending points let's type in 150 enter and 150 to the ending point and now it's on the same level it's horizontal okay now let's control the color inside color and outside color instead of that pink let's make it black okay instead of red let's make it black and click okay then let's modify the thickness starting thickness Let's type in 2, ending thickness, click on it, type 2 and click outside here and the line is thinner. Okay, now let's do another thing. Let's click on the static line, Ctrl plus D, press Ctrl D on the keyboard and it will duplicate it. Now we have two lines in the same location, so let's modify the name right click on the second one and click rename and instead of static line let's type in moving line okay now by selecting the moving line let's move the position of the lines let's say this one should be there somewhere oops not that one undo the end of the line let's move it down somewhere there and oops I moved it whatever somewhere there you could copy the position from the first line so I'm going to a static line ending point is 
that's the x coordinate let's copy to the moving lines starting point okay static line that's the first one let's go to the ending points y coordinate 150 and paste it to the moving lines starting points y coordinate okay now the two lines are in the same position Whew. now let's animate i mean let's track the movement of the head for example for that we should click inside the tracker window if the tracker window is not open then go to window and tracker and we should click on the track motion button but that one's grayed out because first we have to select the video track that one then track motion is available click on track motion after clicking on track motion these two squares appear there let's zoom to 100% for example click on the square and then the dots appear and resize it make it larger click on the inner square and make it larger also and from here you can reposition it it will also zoom in and let's position it the cross here that one in the middle let's position it onto the top of the hat somewhere there okay and now we have the uh, analyze forward button and analyze one frame forward let's start with one frame and it jumped a little bit uh, there and let's let's move it hold down the space bar and then you can move it and it's not exactly on the hat where we want so let's reposition it okay let's move forward frame by frame uh, again it jumped okay let's track it it's not exactly there come on jump on the head something like that okay hold on space you can move it now let's try the other one this is the doing this thing automatically and as forward if you don't like it just hit escape or hit the same button again and as forward then you can reposition it if you don't like the position okay let's track again and don't like it reposition it okay so i will track this i will fast forward the video here and i will continue later so if you don't like the position just hit escape and reposition it and track it once more okay be right back If you make the square larger, then it will track it slower. Let's make it smaller a bit. Now analyze. Now it's much faster, but of course it can make more mistakes if it's smaller. But it's acceptable right now. Whoops. okay now the tracking was finished now we should store those points somewhere so let's right click here new and null object into this null object we will send these points we will store it there so let's click on edit target and select that null null one okay and click apply also and store those x and y coordinates these ones in the null object okay that's done let's click on the video and if we move the cursor then we can see that the red square is following the head now let's connect that uh, those points that we just tracked with the end of this line so it's the moving line let's open it open effects open beam and let's make it larger a little bit and we have the ending point 
Okay, now hold down the Alt key and click on this stopwatch of the ending point. Okay, now we have this rope here at the ending point, and this rope will be connected to the null objects transform and position. Okay, so let's make it even larger. So let's drag the ending points rope, this one, to the null object's position. Drop it onto position and done. Click outside here somewhere and click U a few times and it's closed. Okay. Now if we drag the cursor, yay, success. Hit spacebar and it's following the head. Okay, if you tracked it nicely, frame by frame, then it's not moving around. From time to time I you can see some here it was. It jumped a little bit because the tracking was not perfect. Okay, so that is done. Home to go to the beginning. Okay, we can add the text also, hit the T up here, or just press Ctrl T on the keyboard. Whatever test text. Okay, move outside here and you can reposition the text. You can change the size from here. Uh, first select the text, then make it larger if you want. Okay. We can add those dots also if we want. Right click here, new and solid. So we just created another solid. Let's make the width only 100 and the height only 100. Black is OK. OK and close it with OK. And it's not round. So let's go to ellipse tool, double click the ellipse tool. Now it's round. Let's position it somewhere there and zoom in to let's say 200%. Okay, hold down the space bar so you can move it around. And with the black solid, let's rename it. That's the dot. Okay, with the black solid, which is dot, <laughs> press the with the that with the dot selected, press the S on the keyboard, that's for scale. Let's reduce it for to whatever, to 20. Okay, grab it from the middle. You can place it there. Okay, we can close this one. We can select the dot, Ctrl D to duplicate it, dot 2. Okay, and Grab the second dot, hold on space to move it, and place it exactly... Okay, we're at the beginning, the cursor's there. Place it at the end of that line. Okay, and if we move the cursor, you can see that the second dot is not moved to the end of the line. So... Let's reduce the view fit. Okay, so open, go to the dot, and here's the rope of the dot too, and drag that rope to the null object. Okay, and after dragging to the null object, now the dot is following the line, the end of the line, and the hat also. Okay, so that's how to make this effect, how to make a line follow a moving object in a video. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.